This is crazy lighting, but that's because I've just stopped in front of an incredibly bright EV charger. It's insane. So my car's at 51% with 252 kilometers of range left. And I am at the Shell Ready Express Kumara charging station. I decided to stop here because I'm just coming back from Brisbane to the Gold Coast, which also means I went from the Gold Coast to Brisbane and still have 252 kilometers left in my BYD Dolphin Premium, which has a total range of 490 kilometers. So it did pretty well. I honestly don't need to recharge to get home, but this is a 350 kilowatt charger. It's a super, super fast charger. The last time I used a supercharger though, a fast charge 125 kilowatt one, didn't do anything special. It charged at 60 kilowatts. Now my Dolphin can take up to 80 kilowatts of charge. That's its intake. So I'm hoping that this one can provide closer to 80 or above 60. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna give it a go with charger number two. And it says auto charge is unavailable at this site, by the way. So I can't just plug it in, have it recognize my car and go. So I'm going to tap my EV card and see how we go. Oh, it smells uh, really muddy and fishy here. All right, we are plugged in. This is a really strange EV charger, by the way. All right, please pay. Tap my card, payment accepted. All right, it's 7.13. Let's see, what do we got? Ooh, it thinks it's putting out 89 kilowatts. All right, let's see how long this takes. I seriously need to show you how strange this is, right? So we've got someone charging next to me and I'm charging, but there's no car park next to me. Usually there's like a car park for each charger. Like, look at that. Do you see this? There's a bush right there. <laughs> so weird. And next to the Tesla, there is a park. It's not a designated painted blue park, which is so funny. I feel like this is going well. While I'm here, I want to say something that I haven't really seen anyone talk about is where charging stations are placed and whether they feel safe for people, specifically women. Now for me right now, I feel all right because I have a service station within reach, like it's right there. I don't feel completely alone. It's really well lit. That doesn't make me feel like I'm completely safe, but it's certainly better than a place that's completely in the dark. So it was 7.13 when I started, right? It's been five minutes and I've got 10%. So it's now at 61%, 62. <laughs> oh, it's down to 59 kilowatts now. Dang it. I'm pretty sure the Tesla next to me is done with its charge. 98% and it's only drawing 11 kilowatts. So either I've slowed it down big time or it's just slowed down because it's charging really close to full. There you go. See, it's really hard to know. I guess I'll just see what happens with mine. I'm hoping that when that's done, it speeds back up. But someone said in my comments though, when I was wondering why my car wasn't charging fast at a fast charger the other day, that maybe the fast charging works best when you're like below 50%. I don't know if that's the logic, but I guess I'll have to test that as well. All right, I'm just looking out my window now and the Tesla's almost done charging. Oh, I don't even want to say their name anymore. 99%, does that say five kilowatts? Eight. <laughs> I had to put my glasses on. Another thing I've noticed at EV chargers that I like is that they have these big blue lights. So when EV chargers are available, they glow green. And then when they're in use, they glow blue. And it's really helpful to see at a glance whether they're in use or not. It's now 7.24 and honestly, that's all I need. I think that's gonna be plenty to get home. I've been here for apparently 11 minutes, still back to charging at 59 kilowatts, which seems to be what my car likes to do or what EV likes to do give to my car. I just wanted to test a ultra fast charger for the first time and see what would happen. I think I need to bring mine back when it's at 20% and really see what happens. But let's uh, stop this charge now that I've got 20% extra range, find out what the range of my car is and find out how much this cost. Stop. Is it powering down? Hello, stop please. What the heck, it's just, it's not stopping. Intriguing. This is weird, it's just not stopping. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna tap my card. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I haven't had to do that in the past, so that threw me off. Okay. Drive safe. Moment of truth. 360 kilometers with 73%. Oh. <laughs> Check that out. So the total cost was $10.99, so $11. 
and we now have an extra 108 kilometers of range. I hope you enjoyed yet another charging vlog with me. Remember, I now have memberships. If you want your comments to be highlighted with a little star badge, and if you want me to be able to see them more quickly, I'll reply first before any other comments and prioritize them. And also put your name at the end of my videos to thank you for supporting my channel. Please check that out. It's a dollar fifty Australian each month. That's it. Just keep me hydrated. Keep me doing these vids. I appreciate it. I, I don't like asking for support with donations, but I thought I'd set it up because I think it's a cool perk. Um, and I know a lot of you guys want to support me in different ways. Like I do have ads on my videos now, so that's really all I need. But just in case that appeals to you, I'm letting you know that exists. Otherwise, all you got to do really is be subscribed, hit the bell so you get notifications when I upload so you can be one of the first to watch my videos and make sure to give me some feedback in the comments as usual and hit thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And hopefully I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.